Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space War on 1.8.1. We pick up where we left off with our moon landing mission with Jeb and Milden here in... Okay, which one are they in? <laughs> that might be a good point. Oh, I don't have a ship manifest in here. That's uh, annoying, but doable still. That's not a problem. Uh, they're still in the orbital one, I think. So let's... Transfer, uh, we'll, just, we'll just have Jeb do the landing, since Milton has a lot of, well, a little bit more XP. I don't know what ever happened to sound in the game. But, uh, I guess the transfer doesn't make a sound without ship manifest, potentially. So let me just check. Yes, Jeb is in there. Okay, so maybe everything is alright. Maybe, maybe everything's alright. We are now going to check whether Lander has enough Delta V to land. Um, actually, let's bring the apoapsis down first. We're getting close to the periapsis. Uh, we'll use these engines here to bring everything down. Just a little bit more. Earthrise. Alright, and ignition. That'll be good enough. About 50 kilometers. So that's all right. Now, we have food, water, and oxygen. Yes. And undock. This has enough to return home. That's nor nominal. Nominal, yes. Uh, let's turn that off for now. Um, well, okay, kill rotation. And activate. Doesn't seem like activating. Activate. Okay. 4,640 meters per second. I think I will take that. That is doable for a landing. So, um, human orbital. Now that's this one's job. We'll wait on that. It's fine. <laughs> um, uh, we will try and get that scientific data from the surface of the moon now. Yep. Uh, we will want to land on the daylight side. I think... I think we'll land over here somewhere. Uh, it's that... That's not in communication with Earth. Unfortunately, the dark side is facing Earth right now, so... Well, who cares? We're not transmitting the data directly back anyway. And Jeb can pilot. What we need to watch out for is the fact that we only, we have a 15 minute burn time and not much thrust to weight ratio, so that is the most critical thing. Second most critical thing is not accidentally bumping into our orbital vehicle. Okay, seems fine. And how many ignitions? Nine ignitions remaining. Oh, I didn't have any downward facing thrusters on this. That is not super convenient. Well, this will be a docking target and not actually able to dock on its own then. Okay, not the best situation. All right, we'll just sort of go right into a landing, I think. Does that seem too bumpy? The whole the whole far side of the moon is bumpy, so it'll just have to be the way it is. Okay, ignition. We are heading down. Well, it is as expected a long burn, and that suicide burn countdown is ticking down. Let me pitch up a bit. Okay, looks like we're doing well enough, despite the low thrust to weight ratio. The 15 minutes, of course, is not just for descent, at least. It's for the, uh, the descent and ascent. Makes it a little bit better. I think we can throttle down here. Uh, it does sort of look like some sort of virus, I'll have to admit. 
We have not unlocked unlocked lander. Uh, sorry, ladders. We have not unlocked ladders. So hopefully Jeb's EVA pack will be good enough. Otherwise, Jeb will be stranded. Okay, it's been pretty smooth on descent so far. And the suicide burn countdown is now increasing, which I would like it to do a little bit. Okay, I think it's increasing at a higher rate than I needed to. Getting ready to just set it to kill rotation once the uh, horizontal velocity is down. Uh-oh. Oh no. I don't want to start going up. Okay. I hope it doesn't take too long to ignite this engine. Uh... Okay, I hate this part. Ah, <laughs> uh. uh. don't get to throw down the. Okay, I'll take it. Just don't don't do anything crazy. Oh no, 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 that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Okay, how many ignitions do we have left on it? Five, so okay. Jeez. Alright. Okay, well that's one thing. Um next thermometer. Keep it's a new place. Apparently we haven't done the Midlands before. Pressure, keep. Okay, crew report. Keep. EVA. Um, EVA report. Keep. Take surface sample. Keep. I know it's always cheating when we do it on top there, but... Still gonna do it. Okay, uh, take data. Data board. Okay, so all that contingency stuff. Um, this re uh, recovery is worth more for these. EVA report we can transmit. I think we have the power. Let's go, just go ahead and transmit that. Okay, so we've got the the job done as far as saying stay from the surface of the moon. Okay, well. Uh, We've got EVA propellant. Let's test whether the planting the flag works and whether, <laughs> ouch, whether he can get back into the pod safely. Okay. Oh, we don't have the we don't the plant a flag requires another thing in the in the astronaut complex, right? We cannot plant a flag yet. Oh no. Uh. Okay, it took a hop, but we can we can get up here. Alright. Just with the jetpack alone we couldn't, but with the hop we can. Alright. So no planting a flag this time. I don't know if the contract for crewed lunar landing, which we did not pick up yet, actually requires a flag planting. We'll have to see about that. Okay, so we need to go 149. And catch up. We have plenty of propellant. That's not a problem. I overdid it as usual. Okay, I don't think there's anything we have to do here other than that, so... Uh, RCS on. SAS on for now. And ignition. But yeah, we could have been a little bit more heavier loaded. Uh, we had too much thrust. No, that's not 149. Shoot. Um, uh, south a bit. South, south, south. Good thing we have a lot of fuel. There it is. So that's two. 
hundred and let's say forty five. Let's say pitch zero right now. Okay, and a little bit less than that. Oh, actually, to correct our existing. I read the relative. I usually have heading to target there instead of relative inclination, so that's why I got that wrong. We don't want to go too high because we need to catch up to the orbital vehicle. Okay, that's enough of the inclination. Uh, permanent shutdown in the engine? Oh, no, you don't. No ignitions remaining? Oh, oh, oh my god. I didn't realize Tesla could do that. Guys, we've been betrayed. Oh no. Um, I can't RCS this up, I don't think. Uh, oh no. The Lunar Lander didn't have a problem like this. What? Now you decide this? Uh, can, can we transmit the data? <laughs> um, no, the data will go down with Jeb. Oh gosh, what have we done? That is not right. Now, now it decides to do this? I don't think the RCS is enough. No, uh, Jeb's jetpack is not going to be enough right now either, if you were wondering. No. Oh, 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 he regained consciousness. That's, that doesn't help anything though. All right, fine. EVA, we'll, we'll try the EVA pack just in case. No, come on, you have to, you have to do things, Jeb. It is a substantial amount of Delta V. But because the oral vehicle is in front, there's no way it's going to come back to save him. Yeah, and it wouldn't have been enough from where we were before either. Uh... Well... Alright, we will watch the demise of Jeb again, you know. This is shocking. We're gonna watch the entire series. We never had a failure of an engine like that. It always let me restart because of all the ignitions. We had plenty of ignitions left. Oh permanent failure. They, they never they never came up with a permanent failure before. I would have put more engines on then. Oh, uh, poo. All right. Well, we have learned an important lesson, haven't we? No, we're going to switch to the other thing and bring the other Kerbal back. I can't. I guess I can't. Okay, maybe I can't. All right. Um, tracking station. Okay, first for Milden, we will uh, continue doing the orbital mission, and then we'll have Milden come back. Okay, we have completed uh, one day of lunar orbiting, so now we just have to go back. Something we have tested before, but, you know, apparently test light is more vicious than I thought it was. Who knows? Okay, ignition. That's quite a glow there. See, we got redundant engines on this. Actually, Tesla can't get this. We've got redundancy. Okay. And stop. See what that gave us. A little bit high there. I can't see it anymore. All right. Okay, 58 I will take. Alright, proceeding.
And it's going to be the nighttime side. Cool. Okay, let me try and slow down a little bit with the remaining fuel. Not exactly a nimble pod. Okay, I'll take that for now. About 58 kilometers, we brought it down a bit. I think that'll be fine. Milden is looking rather joyful considering the situation, but well, anyway, service module jettison. Okay, arrow cap. Okay, in we go. Okay, explosions are happening with the service module. And we are slowing down. Okay. This time the chart up later did not happen. I'll, I'll have to check up on that. It's weird. Maybe this still has the drag cube. I thought we had that this is the one that doesn't have anyway. Okay, well we're below Mach 1 arrow cap separation. Uh, yeah, that can happen. It's fine. <laughs> At, uh, sometimes the do uh, the docking port gets in the way. Usually it comes off cleanly though. Alright, both parachutes are out. I guess it is ground there. Yeah, it says Earth's Tropics, so it's just really low-lying ground. We have full parachute deployment. And we are um maybe Australia? Maybe Indonesia? I'd have to check the coordinates. Probably Indonesia or something. We're only six degrees south. Okay. Alright, alright. Recover a Milden, please. Um, let's recover to the VAB. We always like our pods back. Milden gained even more experience. Okay, so, yeah, we fulfilled the contracts, but we've lost Jeb. Test light killed Jeb, darn it. Well, we'll have to make a lander that's more resilient to an engine going out, apparently, which is hard because... because the engine is fairly large physically. We'll have to find some space for maybe four engines that are smaller? I don't know. Because the smaller engines don't throttle. So that's a problem. If we take a look. Or we could use like a backup system like they had on the Soviet lander. Basically they had one big main engine and then two alternate engines. Uh, so we could try that version. But otherwise... We, and in that case, it'd just be for an abort because the main engine is the only one that can throttle. But if we have the main engine and then put some small auxiliary engines like uh, me, well, these cannot be configured for methane and oxygen is the problem. We would need something that can be configured to methane and oxygen, which there isn't many of, <laughs> uh, not at that small scale. So that's an issue. We'll have to think about that. Maybe we'll have to go hypergolic, but then we'll need a bigger lander, and it's so complicated. Let me take a look at how much the astronaut complex is going to cost as far as letting us plant a flag. So, two million! Two million to be able to plant a flag. Uh, I feel like I should change that, but... <laughs> okay, and, well, does the crude landing contract require us to plant a flag? No. So, we don't have to plant a flag to fulfill this, so that's a positive. So, we might just have to take advantage of that, but... Yeah, the configuration of the lander is going to be a bit of a pickle. Uh, we have some science. We are not currently doing anything with science. Maybe we can pick a new engine. What we need is a smaller engine. That's a bigger engine. 
smaller engine that can serve as an abort engine that uses methane and oxygen. But I don't think we have anything like that. It's just an RCS port. We could do with stronger RCS ports, but that's a whole separate thing. It's funny that it is the only thing in heavier rocketry. Ah, those are the heaviest engines in the Schurstrad engine pack, so there's that. And then it goes all crazy with KSP Interstellar. Technically, the Monument rocket and the Daenerys rocket are up here, but I don't have them installed in this. Alright. Well, lots to think about. Now we will uh, mourn Jeb, and we will pick up the pieces in the next episode. So with that, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.